Sorry, I, I clicked the stop recording button. So this is gonna be our second video. The part B, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna write down using the strategy of using the uh, complementary angle, right? So you know that because the sine of an angle is equal to the cosine of its complement and vice and wait um and also the other way around cosine 70 degrees would be equivalent to sine what's complement of 70 degrees 20 degrees what about sine 34? In the same way, sine 34 degrees, right? Sine 34 degrees is equal to cosine. What's the complement of 34 degrees? 56. If you don't write degrees, it's going to be radium mode, and that's a different angle. So you need to write degrees and in the trig ratios, OK? All right, so that was try number three. Let's move on to example four, application. Use trigonometric ratios to find distances. A plane takes off and climbs at a 12 degrees angle. Is that angle sufficient enough to fly over an 11,088 foot mountain that is 12.5 miles from the runaway or does the plane need to increase its angle of ascent? So, okay, um, we're gonna draw a right triangle to represent the situation and we're gonna figure out um, the X and see if we can answer this question okay it has 12 degree angle okay climbs at 12 degree angle is it sufficient to fly uh 11,088 foot mountain so what do we need to check for check here after we get x what do we do we need to see if x is smaller or greater greater than 1188 foot mountain because if it's smaller than 1188 foot you can't go over the mountain right so you need to see if x is greater than 11,088 foot okay so step one how do you figure out x what trigonometry right ratio do you use this is opposite and then that's adjacent and so we don't need hypotenuse here. So what uses um, opposite and adjacent uh, sides? The tangent. Yeah, so tangent is opposite over adjacent. So x tangent 12 should be x over 12.5. So write the equation and you can solve for x. x is 12.5 times tangent 12. Plug it in the calculator, okay? That's gonna be about 2.6. Six. So the altitude of the plane is about 2.66 miles. This is in miles. What's 11,088 foot in miles? You're going to convert that by using um, the, the unit rate of one mile being 5,280 feet. You're going to divide it by 5,280 feet in order to get 2.1 miles. It's is x greater than 2.1 miles? Yes, 2.66 is greater than 2.1 mile. So it's gonna be enough to go over the mountain. So, in, so 12 degree angle is sufficient because 2.1 mile is less than 2.66 miles, okay? So in the real world problem like this, you need to know, oh, which information are we solving for? After you solve for that, that you're not done, you need to be able to compare um, your situation and conclude that yes, it's enough or no, it's not enough, okay? All right, try number four. 
If a plane climbs at five degrees and flies 20 miles through the air as it climbs, what is the altitude of the airplane to the nearest foot? Okay, so a plane climbs at five degrees. Oops, that looks like 50. Okay, five degrees and flies 20 miles through the air. So this is 20 miles through the air. So that's hypotenuse. As it climbs, what is the altitude of the airplane? We want to know the altitude, the height, right? If that's the ground to the nearest foot. So first, you're going to get x in terms of mile, because 20 miles is obviously in miles. And so you're going to convert that into foot. And remember, one mile is equal to 5,280 feet. Okay. If you don't memorize that, that's fine. Just um, yeah, just remember how to convert it. Okay. Yeah, those information could be given on a quiz or a test. So don't worry about memorizing them, the conversion units. Okay. So see if you can figure this out by yourself. Come back when you're ready for answers.